G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back once again to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 in the B240 stable, where as you can tell, I am back hanging out with my lovely little pet rabbits who are all very scared of me and getting stuck in the grooves around the bottom, which we really like fix up their pen and dig out the bottom of this cage, and like replace it with something that's a bit more, a bit more like lovely for them, like there's no grass in here, there's nothing, like the one of the rabbits want to escape, there's nothing for them in here, this is a barren like wasteland for rabbits. Look, there's all the grass is outside. They're desperately trying to get to it. But whatever. They're, that is not why I'm here. I'm not here to better my rabbits' lives. I'm here just to keep my rabbits' lives. I'm here to make sure that they stay alive for another day. And as in the last episode with the zombie beheader, uh, people pointed out that... Oh, ow! Not only did I not make it so that the blades were hitting zombies in the head, they were hitting them like across here. So it didn't actually count as them actually getting beheaded. They were just kind of getting killed in the chest. Ah, oh, just keep running into that thing, don't I? They also pointed out that you know what likes to eat rabbits? <laughs> dogs. And you know what I'm not protecting against? Dogs. So if I spawn in a couple of, uh, let's go some do do dogs. Dogs like that. Get some of those in. And we also spawn in like uh, a crawl. In fact, I spawn the crawler a little bit closer to the gap because I don't want to wait for eight years for the crawler to show up and actually make it into the base so I can see if it works. Uh, Steve Crawler Ferret, why not? So if I put them there and I come back over here and I say, hey, Mr. Zombie, Mr. Dogs, please come and eat my rabbits. They, they, they just they crawl straight underneath all the blades. They're nice and safe. They come straight through. They don't even get hit even a little bit by anything. So I have completely failed my rabbits and made their main enemy, the dogs, able to get in here and eat them. So I'm going to tear down this entire thing. I'm starting from scratch because I have failed everything I care about. All of my rabbits are going to die. So I need to start again and make this much better. There was one other thing in the comments that was talking about what I did wrong with the last design. I'm going with a completely new design now. New year, new me. Oh yeah, happy new year, everybody. This episode is coming out on January 1st, and I'm recording it in the morning, and my voice is still pretty husky from last night, because, you know, you can't you can't bring in the new year going half-hearted. you got to go hard and be the world champion of beer pong, or at least try and get as close to it as possible. So one of the other things I pointed out is that I needed to make the, the actual path thinner. I couldn't have it three wide because then, you know, they've got too many options. So instead of putting the blades on the ceiling in the middle, I'm going to offset them so just the blades are coming through on the inside. So not the actual, like, main unit sitting in the middle, just like the main unit sitting in the walls, like, offset and then just the blades on the inside. So it's only going to be too wide. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit deeper as well, just like, the, yeah, that's about right. Okay, so my design is going to be, like, the, it's going to behead the normal zombies at the start and then have, like, an insurance policy like a dog killer later on down the passage down here somewhere. So you can protect against everything. We're even going to try to protect against bears. We'll see how we go against those if I remember to actually spawn them in later. But anyway, this is going to be the ultimate rabbit proof protector thing. Not the rabbit proof protector. The rabbit saving protector. There we go. Words. So the first thing to make sure, I mean, you can't really see it because it's all the same texture. The first thing I'm going to do to make sure the zombies are getting their heads taken off is I'm going to make it three high, but then also put a bunch of half blocks on the bottom so the, like, the actual gap is two and a half. So the blades will be hitting the very tops of their heads as opposed to hitting, like, their necks and torsos. So it is be like that. So that's one and a half. And then, like, that. So that's that's the level that the blades are going to be on. So I need to get rid of you guys. I'm going to make the roof over the top of you. Uh, three, four. There we go. Just there. Let me finish it off. And put a little ridge over the top. So in this little slot here, they're connected to, like, well, that one there, that one block right there, is where the blade trap's going to be. So the blades will poke through this side at perfect head height, just like skim, it's like it's like scalping them as they walk through. So that should take the heads off the, off the, the walking zombies, and then when it gets to the other end of this is when I'll put all the dog and the bear and the crawler defenses. So even if somehow they get turned from, like, a, walk, a walker into a crawler here, there's still something protecting me over here. It'll be perfect. This is already coming together so well. So the walkers come up here and they're gonna blades right here, clipping it right in the head. Like, look, if I just like take myself out of my body for a second, look at where the head height is. Right here, just like getting creamed right in the forehead with a big spinning blade of doom. The two here take up this whole walkway, then they come down this ramp, then double blades here to take out the ankles of anyone left alive, but also dogs, bears, and anything in between before nice little paradise, or barren paradise, but surviving paradise for my rabbits at the very end. 
This should work much, much better. I mean, look, I'm doing this to protect my bunnies, but you, if you had this as, like, the entrance to your base or something like that, if you so desired, like, this could be a really, really good... It's like it's like the blender that I built over there, except horizontal. And so this would be so good. I'm so excited to get this all up and running and just watch zombies turn into paste. So one blade trap there, and the other one matching it up there. They should spin, like, in opposite directions as well. Because something I'm going to do with... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remake the blender over there. I'm going to do that as well over there so that I have a counter spinning blades over that side as well. Look at that. Perfect. They don't ever actually touch the base stations, so they're not going to, like, start beating down on my blade traps. But they walk through here, just taking all sorts of damage. Nice bit of overlap there, too. Nothing's getting through there with anything left attached to them in any way it should be. And put those there as well. All right, let's put the camera here, and then just go like this. Where's that going to hit? Oh, look at that. It'll take my Santa hat off. Perfect result. Like, fuck, I've got some hops on me. J I can jump out of here. I jump completely out of frame. I mean, I am not a tall person. Look at, look at the cute little blade trap I'm holding. But, like, that is, um, that's some pretty serious carnage gonna happen right there. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's get, like, let's gotta protect the outside of here in case I accidentally fall off the roof and fall into the spinning blades of doom. But, uh, once I've done that, put, like, a lick of paint on it and we'll be good to go. But I need to make sure that there's enough light in here that I can always see what's going on. I've got the glass roof up here. I'll just go like this. Uh, why, why not? And put one over here as well. Just like that. Probably don't need two. Oh, fuck it. Why not? We're, we're in God mode. We're in creative. We can do whatever we want. Let's, let's put two up here. One there and one there. There we go. Perfect. Now I just need some battery. Yeah, one of those. But, uh, yep, yeah, and then like six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And while we're at it, some solar as well. Gotta be, gotta be responsible for the planet. Gotta make sure we're not ruining the ozone layer while I'm ruining zombies' faces. Uh, so, can I get the, the tier six, please? Six, six, six. Oh, damn it, I had it! One last thing to try and make sure that this is as much an easy kill as possible. Uh, can I get you actually on the wall, please? No, you're not, no, you're not gonna go on the wall. Oh, you always make things so difficult. Get on the frickin- There we go, whatever. It doesn't quite- Okay, it automatically rotates. I was gonna say, it doesn't quite look right, but that's okay with me. Um, I can't put any- This is the thing, I can't put any in here to stop them because there's no walls and can't overlap with um with, with the the blades god it's real bright in here now those lights are doing a solid trick i accidentally put that on the wrong wall where where is it where is it there we go just like that all the way along please all the way along someone did suggest as well that i should put trigger plates on the ground below the blade so as they're walking through like it's constantly triggering uh, I can do it down here. However, I'm, I've chosen to go with the barbed wire up this end to give as much chance as possible to, to, to decapitate. Deca decapitation is insta-kill. So, I mean, that's what I want to happen. But I, I could probably put some down here, but not, I mean, not a lot. So, I'm not going to go with that option. I'm going to go with the standard motion tracker. Um, just, you know, just, just that, that's the most reliable way. As long as something's alive in there, it'll keep everything in there on spinning and killing. All right, it is all wired up and ready to go, painted and lovely and awesome. So basically, I've got all the lights attached to this switch right here. So when it gets nighttime, like for example, if I just go, hey, let's make it like, you know, one o'clock in the morning. So it's all pitch black and my rabbit's still in it. Yes, it's still over there. You know, can't see much. You're like, you know what? It's fine. Look, boom. Oh my God, it's fucking eye bleedingly bright in here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, it's got to do the job. It's fine with me, but also, so we'll get rid of that, we'll also go back to daytime, because I like to be able to see stuff. But also, this camera here that I actually put on a pole, like, properly this time, instead of just being in the middle of the road. Uh, all of the blade traps are connected to that, so it can see all the way down to here. So as soon as Zoe pokes his head up, these things will start spinning and taking that head straight off. So this is, I, I mean, I liked the first one, I love this one. This is about as good as a, just, like, murder machine as I think I possibly could have made. The lights probably don't need to be there. Probably need to have this many lights. It is pretty glaringly bright. I wish I could like make the lights have a bit of a warmer tone than just like the searing blue retina burning uh, color that it is at the moment. But I mean that's alright. You can't you can't win them all. So I guess I should really just like you know do some final checks and start spawning some zombies. So for the first test, I've got three testing Arlene's. Always the one to do the job for me. Thank you, Arlene. Got some bows and some bikers because they're like really tall and kind of dangerous looking. So they're gonna come up here and get all sorts of decapitated and I am excited. All right, here we go. Ready, set, come and try and eat me if you wouldn't mind. Uh, hello? Yep, there we go. All right, blades are on. 
Oh, straight into the head. The, the Arlene's made it through. So did the bow. That's a, that's a lot of missing. Ah, no, no. How did you make it through there? Okay, the bike, I mean, he lost an arm. The bike is a mean, dude. So you lost your legs and an arm and you're still coming for me. I mean, you don't really give up very easily. That didn't work nearly as well as I was hoping. Why not? What did I do wrong here? So I'm noticing the barbed wire doesn't do shit anymore. Like you have to really actually touch it. So maybe they've, I, I don't know, did they patch it? Does the barbed wire trick not work? Because they, I can run through here with no uh, slowdown effect at all. So I'll get rid of that. I'm gonna have to put something else in. Maybe I, maybe I was, oh, damn it. I was trying to avoid using barbed wire, for, uh, not barbed wire. I was trying to avoid using electric fences for this, but I feel like now that the barbed wire doesn't work, I feel like that's the only option. I picked up all this shit from the zombies. I don't want it. Go away. Can I have this again? Yep, that's the, that's the right one. Repaint you, repaint you. Oh, I didn't paint any of this bit. Oh, that's, that's poor from me. You gotta make sure everything's painted. No wonder it didn't work. Paint is key. I've updated the design and put a bunch of electric wires through here so I should slow them down enough to actually get the rest of the damage done from the blades. Should have backed myself in with those to start with. I have the tester crew out there ready to go. All right, let's, let's give this a crack. Let's all sit over here, get my gun out just in case, and go. Come on, you coming? You coming in? Everyone... What are you doing out there? Stop beating on my shit. You're supposed to be coming through the middle. God damn it. Get off me lights. There we go. All right. Yep. So, so she goes underneath. I just, a blade's a blade. They hit them square in the head and it's not doing much, but it's doing enough damage. But this is hope. Oh my God. It's so loud in my head. Yes, this is much better. Electric fences all the freaking way. Look at them. Nothing but blue electric shots and death. Oh, get fucked up. This is so good. Well, it handled a group of zombies perfectly, but what about a group of dogs? I mean, this is a, this is a pretty big pack right here waiting to go, waiting to eat all my lovely fluffy bunnies over in my cage. But I'm not going to let them... Ow, I shouldn't have gone through there. Why did I go through there? I should have gone around the outside like two trailer park girls. Okay, so ready. Where's my pistol? Got my pistol out already. Ready, set, go. Come on, come on, guys. You gotta come, come in up the ramp. There we go. Straight through. Yes, it does. It does it perfectly. It fucks them all up. The glowing. Oh, wait. We almost made it through. We almost made it through. Ah, oh, one made it through. Two made it through. You're not supposed to be able to make it through there. What the shit? Okay, well, maybe. I mean, it handled. What is this guy doing? Are you dead? I, I, I don't know if he was dead or not. So it handled them for the most part. Uh, a few more electric wires would probably do the trick, but that actually worked really well. In fairness, that was a really big horde of dogs. Like, that was quite a lot. Oh, I almost forgot that I need to test this against some um, bears. Bears, 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 bears. That's, I mean, there's quite a few over there. You, you all looking very bad? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now they're really mad. All right, I'm, look at this dog. Oh, I thought I got beheaded for a second, but it's okay. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Okay, he's making it through. He does not care about the electric wire at all. Uh, where are your friends? Okay, there's your friends. Okay, one down. Can you... Oh, shit. I accidentally shot him. Can you all come in here, please? Can you all come and fight? I don't know where your friends are gone. Where are the other bears? What are you doing down there? Get up the bloody... Don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare start destroying shit. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. There you go. Okay, he's getting electrocuted. Is there another one? I thought I spawned four. I've lost a giant zombie. Oh no, he's in there. <laughs> he got he got sent through the blender. That was perfect. Okay, it is dog proof. It is bear proof. That's what you get for causing me so many problems. I'm gonna call that a raging success. I mean, I could probably have built it a little prettier. It's not the great, it's not the like the most pretty thing in the world, but it does the job. It's gonna keep my rabbit safe. And I mean, if this was gonna be the entrance to your base or something, you could you know you cover up the slits on the side and hide the the electric uh, fence posts and all that kind of stuff. Make it look nice and neat and clean. And everyone like yeah, everyone likes clean, smooth lines with that jaggedy edges and shit. But like just as like as like functionality wise, that works absolutely perfectly. And I'm very very happy with it. So that is how you make the zombie decapitator 2.0, the rabbit protector 1.0, because the first one didn't protect him from the dogs or the bears or the crawlers. This thing will keep you from uh, keep you safe from everything out there. So I'm going to leave this episode here and come back and build some more wonderful wacky contraptions in Seven Days to Die in another episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure to like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, but don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.